Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to take you through Azure API apps and API management. API apps features makes it easy to develop, host and consume APIs in the cloud and on-premises. The advantage of hosting APIs in Azure API apps is you will get enterprise grade security and simple access control, automatic SDK generation and seamless integration with logic apps. Logic apps are basically system workflows that you can build within Azure and as part of the workflow, each activity need to interact with the functionality exposed by different systems. By having those interfaces hosted in Azure, it makes it easy to integrate with the logic apps also. So what are all the key features of API apps? Firstly, you can bring your own existing API. You don't need to redevelop anything. And those APIs can be developed in any language framework supported by app service, such as C Sharp, Java, PHP, Node.js, etc. And secondly, there is an integrated support for Swagger API. By enabling Swagger, you're making easy for others to consume your APIs. And also you will provide good visibility of APIs to developers. And thirdly, simple access control. In case if you want to protect your API against unauthorized access, then you can do so using Azure API apps with literally no changes to your code. Okay. And the fourth one is Visual Studio integration, as you can imagine. And also fifth one is integration with Logic Apps. So these are all the features and advantages of deploying APIs within Azure API apps. However, in a large organization, you will have hundreds of APIs and there should be a way to manage these APIs. And also if you want to commoditize your APIs, so for example, weather API, you have developed a world-class weather API and you want it to expose to the outside world so that the customers will consume this weather API and pay you per call basis like that, then you can use Azure API management within Azure. So let me take you through Azure API management also in a bit more detail. Azure API management is all about managing APIs. Basically, you will put API management front end on an API using which you can monitor and throttle usage. You can manipulate input and output. You can consolidate several APIs into an endpoint and so on. Okay, so you can do lots of stuff using API management. Those APIs that are managed by API management need not to be hosted on Azure itself. It can be hosted on on-premise and somewhere else also. Okay. So when you compare API management and API apps, API apps is all about hosting APIs, whereas API management is about managing APIs. So how API management works at a very high level. Firstly, when a HTTP or HTTPS request comes, it will come to API management and the API management based on the location of the API, it will forward that request to either Azure API apps or on-premise or somewhere else. But when it is forwarding that request, it can throttle it, it can monitor, and also it can manipulate the inputs and outputs also. So that's the beauty of API management. This is particularly useful if you have large number of APIs and also if you want to offer these APIs to the outside world. And in terms of exposing these APIs to the outside world or to your developers using API management, API management offers two portals. First one is developer portal where developers can learn about APIs, view and call operations and subscribe to products. Okay. What is this product? I will explain you in the next slide. But with respect to the developer portal, you can customize this developer portal also. So the content within the developer portal can be modified by something called publisher portal using which is you actually publish APIs into developer portal. Okay. Developer portal, you can imagine like a portal that will be used by customers or developers. Publisher portal is something that you will use as an administrator in order to expose the APIs. And because developer portal is an external facing portal, you can customize the look and feel of developer portal by adding your own custom content. You can add your own brand also. Now, let me take you through some of the concepts associated with API management, which is a very key thing that you need to remember. First one is APIs and operations. As you can imagine, each API represents a set of operations available to the developers. It might be CRUD operation on an object, something like that. 
and the next thing is products the products are how apis are surfaced to developers each product can contain multiple apis so for example a weather product can contain multiple apis first one is temperature wind speed is one api and so on so that's how you can group certain related apis and offer them as product to your customers or developers and thirdly groups are used to manage visibility of apis so you can have three types of groups one is administrator group members they can manage api management service instances they can create apis operations and products that can be used by developers and developer group members are authenticated customers they will build application using these apis and finally guests they are unauthenticated developer portal users such as prospective customers visiting the developer portal of an api management instance fall into this group so administrators are something that will create or publish apis or products developers are the group of users who consume those apis and guests are your prospective customers who will come and consume our trial basis they will view the apis and see whether the apis fit into their requirement or not and finally policies is something that is very important in api management it's a very powerful capability of api management that allows the publisher to change the behavior of api through configuration such as throughput okay so that's it for this lecture in this lecture i have taken you through api apps and also i have taken you through api management i explained about developer portal publisher portal and also some of the key concepts associated with api management next lecture is a lab where i'm going to create an api and publish that api into azure so if you have some time join me in the next lab